Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the Daily App Show. We're going to look at To Tune Me. It is a music player for your iPhone or your iTouch. And it is a gesture driven app, which means, you know, when you're driving in the car, you're trying to find a song, and you're always looking down, probably performing illegal acts to try and find something to listen to. This app takes that all away and allows you to control it by gestures. So yes, there are other apps out there that do that simple thing. So we're going to look at some other things that make this app truly amazing and set it apart from all of the rest. So right from the get go, it remembers, it just loads up what I was playing last on my, and the iPod uh, function on my iPhone. So um, Kill Switch Engage, that was the last thing I was listening to. So I can hit play and uh, it will go and play that music. I could tap again to stop it. Drag left and right to go and, and view different songs. Very easy and simple. I can uh, pinch to resize album artwork, um, drag up and down for volume. Really simple. I could tap on playlists up here and uh, I can view either my playlists, play by playlists, artists, album, podcasts, songs, books. I could do all that right from here. So if I wanted to go and look at artists and uh, I can go and view my artists that I have on my iPhone. And so say I wanted to go and take a look at campaign, I can do that and it loads that right up. There's some volume adjustment. Now, down here at the bottom, we have three rows of different functions. Um, I can tap on the hand right there to see the different gesture actions that we have um, that we can use. Very simple. I can edit those and even create my own gestures for certain functions Jesus, on the app. So say um, the long tap or something like that, I want that to be different, I can change that. So very easy. Oh, let's go and turn the volume down a little bit. There we go. All right, hand gestures. Edit. Let's say I want to change what uh, um, what a two finger drag left or right does. I can change that. I could change it from no action to make it adjust the brightness or the volume. So there are different things that I can set that gesture to do, kind of customizing the way this app feels. Right from here, I can go and view my library, the song info. I can lock it in portrait because this does have a landscape mode as well. I could put it in night mode, which is going to darken everything up. Uh, you can see it just kind of uh, dimmed quite a bit so that it's not so harsh at night. You could put it back in day mode and it nicely fades back in. It's not an abrupt change like some apps, you know, when you're laying there in bed listening to some music or something that's dark and your phone just blows your eyes out of your head. Uh, it doesn't do that. It fades in nicely. You can also share what you're listening to to your Twitter and Facebook friends, which I like because I am always finding bands and stuff like that that I think everybody else should love. And so I like to have that functionality to be able to share that with others. So if I was to lock portrait mode, I would not be able to enter landscape mode. But because I don't have that locked, here's what landscape mode looks like. It, what's really nice is that it gives me big letters and words. So if I had, say I was in the car, I had some sort of uh, hands-free kit or something like that that my phone could be held in. Um, this app looks great in landscape and in portrait mode. And I can really easily kind of resize things here. Um, and you can see the text and everything adjusts as well. I got big fingers. Makes it challenging. So let's go back into portrait mode. In our settings here, we can change the theme. There are a whole bunch of themes that come uh, in the app. So I could just uh, change these different theme elements um, to customize it. I could also download new themes. Um, 
So I just click on here and I can even get a theme code to download one uh, that a friend could send to me. Um, or I could just easily change my themes by scrolling through the themes that are already loaded into the app that come with it. So very cool. And you can see there's a lot of them as we scroll through. There are quite a few themes uh, that this app comes with. Um, so I'm just going to choose the one that we're on already. Leave it at that. You can also switch right here your day and night theme, or you can set it to automatic. So it'll automatically detect uh, using you know your clock as to what it thinks it should display for you. Um, set up your Twitter and your Facebook right here. Very simple. And that's the settings. You have a really nice help menu here that walks through everything, shows you what everything does so that if I didn't do a good enough job explaining it to you, uh, or you forget what something does, you can come in here and see exactly what that does. I mean, really nice. Uh, I love the way that this menu works as far as help goes. Sometimes you don't get very good help um, in an app, so I like that. You can also view their other apps right here which I recommend you do. Scrolling here brings you to basic playhead like you're used to seeing, play, forward, reverse, as far as um, the music goes, so we can turn it back on. Really simple. And then we can go here and we can loop the track, we can turn it off, uh, loop, we could put shuffle on, um, all of that stuff right here. Uh, or, of course, we can use the gesture to get to that as well. Um, so this app's really very useful. Of course, yes, there is a little bit of, uh, of stuff you got to learn because obviously they are touch, touch gestures and whatnot, but once you get those figured out, this app becomes a great tool for you to have. Um, and so, you know, you can scroll through your playlists right here just by sliding through. And as you slide through, love, love. it's going to uh, start playing that playlist for you. I love, love. Very, very easy and simple to use. So, to tune me is two ninety nine. You may be thinking, you know, that's a little, uh, uh, a little pricey, maybe for a, um, for a replacement for the iPod. But when you really think about when you're in the car, when you're at the gym, doing different things uh, that are cumbersome to grab your iPhone or your iPod Touch and uh, and make those adjustments, trying to find music to play or something like that, it becomes difficult. And using these touch gestures, I, if I had a um, you know an, an open face uh, iPod case for my belt or for my um, for my arm, you know, and I was at the gym, I could just reach over and ch and touch, go to the next song. Most of the good headphones out there don't have it, any possible way for you to do any of these things uh, for playing your music from, you know, the headphone itself. So really recommend that you check out this app. At least go by their uh, website or check it out in iTunes and just take take a look, see what it's all about and give it a download if you're looking for a solution for playing your music. So Tune Tune Me, great app, $2.99. Go get it today. Take care, and we'll see you next time on the Daily App Show.